What is going on guys, Tiswava here, and welcome to Breath Edge. Now this game is supposedly going to be like Subnautica in space or something crazy, you know, there's like survival, there's like crafting and all that kind of stuff, so I'm very interested to see what this game's all about because I loved Subnautica, and of course, if you can tell by my name, I love space stuff, so <laughs> this game really intrigued me, and I even talked about it on a recent channel update, and a lot of you guys are really interested in this as well, so what we're going to be doing today is playing Breath Edge for a quick pilot episode just to see what the game is like that way i could see you know do i like the game do you guys like the game and if we all like the game then hey we could turn breath edge into a series on the channel where i could play through it and see what it's all about a little bit more in depth but today we're just going to be playing it for like 30 or something like that minutes just to get a little bit of a taste of it so if you guys enjoy breath edge today be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and of course let me know in those comments because of course if I see a really good reaction from you guys, then Breath Edge may turn into a full series here on the channel and we'll end up playing it a lot more. But anyways, let's just jump into the game. Let's see, uh, start a new game. Let's see what this game is all about and let's actually see whether or not we should make this to a full on series. So, name of the game, Breath Edge, I guess we can keep it as that. Standard difficulty, story difficulty impossible, free. Standard best game mode is a moderate one. Story emphasis on storyline, infinite parameters, but death is still possible. Achievements disabled now, nah, I don't think we need to do that. Impossible, permanent, oh jeez, permadeath. No hints, there's no point in wasting your time with this one. I like, yeah, see, this is something I liked about the game whenever I watched the trailer and read the little, uh, little description of the game. It seems like it doesn't take itself too seriously, which is going to be pretty fun. Uh, then we have free over here, no restrictions or death. Everything is available, the storyline and achievements are disabled. Okay, I guess it's kind of like a creative mode or something like that, right? Let's just do standard. Let's see what this game is all about. So, bleep, there you go, skip intro. No, I don't want to do that. I want to see what this intro is all about, so let's hit play and let's jump into Breath Edge. Try not to urinate on electrical appliances. Okay, that's a great intro into the game. Red Ruins Softworks presents. Oh, whoa, I'm walking. And they're my hands. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of a of game. See, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't seem like it's taking it itself too seriously. It's already like mocking game intros. From the creators of The Matrix, there's been no news lately. Well, what is this thing? Is this like some sort of exoskeleton robot thing? I don't know what it said just a second ago. Searching for this font took up half the development time. Really? This is just a regular sans serif. Oh, director isn't needed here at all. Well, thanks. <laughs> what is this? Oh, what in the world? The Red Ruin Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. And therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Yay, censorship, no, let, let, let them smoke. Okay, you know what? Let, let's not get demonetized here. Yay, censorship. Get rid of that cigarette. <laughs> it turns into a carrot. <laughs> what? Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. R2-D3? Oh! Because he got bopped on the head. <laughs> you tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put it on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. Okay, let's spit in his face. <gasps> oh, ew! It's a little big old loogie. <laughs> oh, man! Got bopped again! You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Spitting was a lousy idea, we agree. You'd better tell your story first. You can still have your defiant expression. Spit on him again or tell him. Yes, let's spit on him again. I don't even know if we're able to spit on him. It seemed like it hit like a windshield or something like that. So I don't even think it actually hit him there. Let's, let's do it again, though. <laughs> I think I'm just hitting like a helmet windshield thing. <laughs> I keep getting bopped. Oh, this you is a bad idea. From the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Okay, okay. You'll be you beat it out of me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Let's tell them. Oh. The year 2073. Somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. Whoa, the rings of some planet. Whoa! Just warped in. Interstellar liner, unnamed. Nice, nice, nice creativity there. Your yogurt or some other... Some ads could be here. Some sort of something else. <laughs> They're selling ad space on the side of a ship. 
Oh, whoa. Whoa! Hey, there's a chicken! <sighs> Who's this guy? There's just a... Just having dinner with a casket dead body right there? What's happening? Green universe, broccoli attack! Whoa! Oh, turbulence. Whoa! A lot of turbulence. Oh no! A little bit too much turbulence! Oh! No! The casket! Of some random guy! Oh no, what, we hit some asteroid field and pfft. Some, oh jeez, that is a huge ship. Oh my gosh, so much space debris out here. Breath edge. So going back to the Subnautica kind of like, like comparisons, with that big ship crashing into the ocean, I guess this one just crashed in the, some sort of asteroid belt. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie. Confirm. Okay, we have no option. Might as well tell him. Continue your defiant, definitely un unembellished story. Oh! What in the world was that? It happened again. I guess we're going to be living through it now instead of just watching a cutscene. The game auto says when you return to the shuttle, so don't something else. I don't know, it loaded too fast. <laughs> oh, what is that? Ew, bubblegum? Ew. Get that out of here. Ew. Hey, there's my chicken! Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Uh, okay. Well, how am I going to confirm I'm able to read? I, I guess I'll just do this mouse button. Oh. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. Oh my gosh. However, your death may cause the... When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Well, okay. I guess I could open up my inventory by hitting tab. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. There you go. I picked up the chewing gum that was floating around just a second ago. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Okay. Stick it somewhere except for your face. Uh, stick it on the door. Yep. How do I do it? Uh, where I want to? Where I want to put? Put it on the ground. Where am I going to put? Okay, let's put it here then. Yep. Plug the gas leak. That's a good idea. <laughs> Plug it. You it's not where, some Hey. That's impressive. You've almost won. What was this? Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. <laughs> Now, where's my chicken at? I saw my chicken and he's gone now. Oh, hey, look. This is where we were sitting during the cutscene and this is where that dead body was and uh, I guess everything's okay now or something. I don't know. Find the interphone or get depressed. Okay, well, pff, looks like we found the interphone here. This is pretty interesting, though. I love you, the chicken. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at the chicken with that guy, but that guy's dead now. Well, he was, he was dead earlier and he, he's dead now, too, so nothing changed there, I guess. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation, but she loved Grandpa even more than worms, I think. And Grandpa always returned the affection. Oh, guess we'll take that. Yep. That's mine. Little man, what's this? Oh, jeez, that little baby have a beard? Moun, 2030? <laughs> I guess this guy's about to be born in like a, nine years or something crazy. I've always been good looking. Oh, I guess that's me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look at that beard. I'm such a manly man. I've had a beard since I was a little baby. Although my beard was not as thick in my childhood, by the age of three, it got better. <laughs> That's a pretty good beard right there. Some people might be jealous even if they're in their like 20s or 30s to have some beard like that, let alone a little baby. All right, I'll take that. Don't mind if I have a picture of myself. Hey, was this kitten? Harry the cat was my first and last pet. He was a proud and a good one. Even the chicken respected him, I guess. At least she attacked me more than him. All right, I'll take that too. I'm like, I'm looting all the stuff over here. I have an addiction to loot. Whoa, what's out the window? I guess there's a lot of loot out there I can get, huh? Rest in the bed? Okay. Huh. Rest is not required. Man, I guess I have to get the interphone thing or get depressed. How do I get depressed? Because I know where the interphone is. What if I feel like getting depressed? Switch. Okay, onboard radio. Oh, geez, is that going to copy strike me? Okay, turning that off. Hey, there's the toilet. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Uh-oh. Press F to relieve yourself. Okay, that's a pretty good meme there. Instead of pressing F to pay respects, we're pressing F to relieve ourselves. I can't even use it because it's in reverse mode or whatever. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh, what was this? Processor. Oh, jeez. What in the world? I guess it's like the crafting bench over here. Okay. Interesting. What do we have? Oh, yeah. We just have the three pictures there. What is that? Like a naked guy there? 
Chicken dielectric, what? Encyclopedia, journal, recipes, markers, collections, videotapes, items, miscellaneous videotapes. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff here, it seems. Place my space suit. Okay, sure, let's just walk around naked. Am I naked right now? No, I'm not. I still have a space suit on, I think. Remove space suit. Yep. What in the world? Where am I getting the space suit then? It's coming out of nowhere. Change space suit? I have no idea. I'm super duper confused. All right, well, I, I, I we're just kind of memeing around a little bit right now. I guess we've already explored uh, pretty much everything here. What's this? Switch on? Yeah, switch that off. There you go. Don't give me a copy, Shrek. <laughs> Insert a videotape. Do I have a videotape? I don't think I do. Yeah, no video cassette there. Pff, remember video cassettes? You guys even know what that is? I don't. <laughs> what is a video cassette? I thought. Oh, jeez. Oh, what is that? Alcohol. What? New blueprint of an item. It is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources. Probably. I thought we're uh, advertiser friendly. We had the advertiser friendly mode turned on, and now we've got carrots over here, right? Carrot top. Hmm. Yep, that's a carrot. All right. It's covered in saliva, but it looks appetizing. Hmm. Looks like someone took a bite out of it. I'm like, you can call me Sherlock Holmes, but I feel like we're onto something here, you guys. Someone took a bite out of this, and we need to figure out who that was. I'll take it, though. Yep, put that in my inventory. Is there anything else over here? Survival guide. Ooh. Hey, there's... Oh, I could play this. Okay. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from some movie and put it there. I don't think that such advice can be useful, but to be honest, this situation is somehow strangely similar to mine. There's even the chicken there. Hey, I'm like, it makes sense. Let's grab it. Oh, I'm like, I'll grab it anyways, because it's loot. Yep. Oh, was this computer thing right there? <laughs> what even is that? What is this? Physics in 50 vol. Okay, let's read all this, you guys. <laughs> a rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say that the one who reads all 50 books will become the person to read all the books. Whoa, that's a crazy achievement there. I'll take it. I'm like, I might as well get started with that, right? All right, let's play the video, and I guess we'll get to the interphone thing, and I guess we're not going to get depressed, you guys. So that kind of sucks. Ah. <sighs> That's kind of depressing. Anyways, let's play the videotape. Yep. And let's do the survival guide. Whoa! The Breath Edge Survival Guide. And there's the chicken. To pee or not to pee. Wow. This is totally uh, advertiser friendly. Space. So dangerous. So unpredictable. Just like your bladder. Hey, that's my bathroom. What in the world is that? In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at the most inopportune times. This is wrong! Oh, God! Tip number two, try to keep all in. A thoughtless waste of resources is something... I don't know, it went away super fast. This is wrong. Oh, man, did I pee on the computers? That's bad. Explore the environment in search of AIDS or something else. I don't know. I guess make your own toilet if the toilet isn't working. I guess that's what I need to do. Uh-oh. Oh, I can leave! Oh, we should do that. Oh! Use someone else's toilet. Hey, that's a good idea! Oh, my God! And it's frozen! Well, it is space. <laughs> Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Oh, look at that. A dead body. I'll take all that stuff and I'll... Oh, I use a chicken? What? Oh, I got electrify there. Hmm. Use the chicken to plug that electricity? What? Hey, that's how you get that achievement. Whoa! With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment. Or kill yourself in an even more sophisticated way. <laughs> Hey, we built a new toilet there. Hey, and we're splashing all over with the seat down and everything. God, well, look at this careless. God, that's disgusting. Like, unironically, that's like really, really gross. <laughs> the end. Jeez. No animals were harmed in the making of this instructional video. Okay, well, that's good. Uh-oh, I don't want to watch that again. Stop that. Uh, there you go. Golly, that's disgusting. Here, switch that off. Can I get my tape back so I can throw it out of here? That's disgusting. Can I actually leave, though? What if I can? Oh, I can! Well, that's probably a bad idea. Let's not do that. Let's, let's go back. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's go use the interphone thing. Let's not get depressed. Let's see what it's all about. Examine the note. As I'm over here saying, don't forget to feed the ch- Oh, jeez. Okay, let's not forget the chicken. Examine summer 2008. Pff, more like summer 2000 late. <laughs> looks like India. Somehow I never asked where this photo is from. Well, well, it looks like some sort of beach, so I don't know where this India thing is from. It looks like any ordinary beach to me, but whatever. I'll take it too. There you go. <laughs> Let's use the interphone. Let's call for help or something. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. Uh oh. I guess I have to fix the antenna or else this thing isn't going to work. Home phone number. Hey, I'll take it. 2U313BACO. GF home? What? 
Or is that my girlfriend at home or someone? I don't know. Our home number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, there's no one to call unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Ugh, nasty. What about the chicken? Where's the chicken at? I need to feed him. That's the most important mission right now. We need to feed the chicken, but I don't know where the chicken is. All right, maybe we could find a chicken out in outer space or something. Speaking of such, we do need to go out and fix the antenna, I guess, so... That source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go fix some sort of antenna here. Where do I do this? I need some sort of, uh... Yeah, I need a handy scrapper thing to do anything with that, so that kind of sucks. Now, where's this antenna at? I don't know. Oh, oh. go inside. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, I think it is. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Okay. What in the world is happening out here? Be careful with the vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Uh-oh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Back inside. See if it works now. <laughs> Establish communications. Use the interphone. No, it's broken. Man. Oh, I guess I should go back outside there then. Oh, there's like a breath meter at the bottom though. Oh, yep. That goes down. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. What's this? Ooh, is this the... Oh, jeez. I ran into the something. presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle on the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frost work, which can lead to visibility deterioration. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. All right, well, I didn't know it was outside. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. What? Well, I need to level up then, get better skills, I suppose. Well, well I guess we'll go inside anyways, because I'm running out of heckin' breath over here. I'm down to 39. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. Oh, no! I'm trying to get, get contact over here and prevent becoming depressed. Create a debugging station. So how do I do that? Probably over here at the processor thing, but I doubt I could do that, right? Oh, hey, look at that. There's a carrot top right there. I could use that. <laughs> Can't do anything there, I guess. Encyclopedia. Journal. Create the debugging station. Oh, at least we can keep track of all of our stuff there, but whew. At least we're getting a little bit of oxygen now, so let's see. Do I still have to be out? I guess I still have to be outside for this because it looks like it's telling me I have to go up here. Ooh. The shuttle got caught in some larger debris. Lucky. Oh, wait, no, it isn't on the inside. Wait, what? Yeah, I am supposed to use that. I don't know how to do that then. Well, either way. Oh, whoa, what is this small thing? Can I grab it? Nutrition package. Hey. Oh, it's just a blueprint, though. I don't know. Maybe I can still use that thing. I can see these little blue blobs over here. I'm able to. Bottle of water. Hey, it's just water floating in space. Nutritious goo. Ice. Actual ice. Oop. I guess this is how we're going to get food here. Kind of like finding little fish guys in some Nautica. We're just finding like little nutrient balls out in space and we're just grabbing literal space balls. <laughs> Let's grab a ball, Ada. Oh, man, I can get really disoriented. Like, oh, is that that's where they that's where that one guy tried to pee during the instructional video. We should go over there. Oh, wait, we're running out of breath. Toilet detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. Oh, what is this? A dead hamster? Someone shoved a hamster in the toilet? Poor fellow. For some reason, there has always been a lot of these rodents. Whether they ran away and multiplied, or they were specially bred. I don't know, but I think there's still a lot of them. Ooh, I guess we could just find a bunch of random dead hamsters. Yeah, it's like a collectible, I guess. Hammond, although this toilet doesn't look like a man robot. Okay, Hammond the hamster, that's dead. How do we how do we get back to our uh, oh geez, that's it up there. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm running out of breath. This is bad. This is bad. I had to go get the heckin' toilet and the, the dead hamster and everything, and now I'm gonna die! Oh go, 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 go! I'm losing no! Go! Oh my gosh! Woo! There we go. Okay, we're back. Whew. What in the world happened there? A little bit of lag. Can I shove the hamster down the toilet now? No, I can't do it. Man! Alright, debugging station. How do I use this? How do I make a debugging station? Equipment? Helmet? Resources? Tools? Is that it? Crypto hey, there it is right there. Cryptographic debugging station. Okay, so we need two metal and one wire. Oh, what in the world? Insufficient resources. Okay. So we need to find some metal and some wire. And I don't know where we're going to get that. Hey, look at that. There's some alcohol I can make. Cool. There's the helmet and there's the enhanced space suit. Okay, so we need to find some metal and some wire. Makes sense, like the metal scrap or something like that from Subnautica. I'm going to make a lot of, like, references to Subnautica, to be quite honest. What's that? Tape recorder. Okay, take it. Oh, I need a handy scrapper for that, man. Okay, well, we need to find some stuff, so, uh... Break this contain- What? I need to- Okay, you know what? 
There's got to be a handy scrapper or something like that inside of here that we need to grab and, and use. Because there is a lot of stuff out there and I'm not able to do anything without the heckin' handy scrapper. So am I able to make that? Let's see. Equipment tools? No, that's the only thing. Man. Yellowish water. Nice. That's what... That's just what I need. Made from ordinary water by natural alkalization through the kidneys. Yeah, I'm like, that's also known as pee. And there's some pee over here, yellowish water. And some alcohol. <laughs> Jeez. Object stations, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, man. Hey, nu nutrient packets. I can make that in a bottle of water. I guess you could just craft all this ice and stuff into... Yeah, two ice, you get a bottle of water. Cool. And uh, just one nutritious goo and one ice gives you a nutri nutrition package. You know what? Let's get a couple of those going. Boom, crafting one of those. And hey, there you go. Cool. Let's get a let's get a bottle of water too. Can I craft okay, get both of those going? I guess you can only do one at a time. Man, it cancels it down there. I guess there isn't like a queue or anything like that. Hmm. Alright, well, we do need to eat, we do need to drink, so might as well get a few of each. So yep, there you go. I don't want to drink the alcohol over there, because you know, I'm like I'm trying to survive over here. I'm not trying to you know die or anything like that, right? <laughs> I don't want to be drunk in space and get demonetized and get killed. So how do I do this? Uh, I guess we have to put it in the hot bar, so can I do- Oh, I can! I just do number one and then number two there, okay, cool. So I kinda hotkeys it there, but I can't make that, uh, that tool, unfortunately. But I wonder if I could find it over here. I doubt it. Hey, look at that! There's a whole carrot right there! Whoa! Tasty, nutritious, almost clean! Despite the act of anti-carrot propaganda, carrots are still in demand. And I wish they wouldn't throw the ends out the windows. <laughs> Now, are they talking that I, I guess every time we see a carrot, it's actually supposed to be like a cigarette or something like that. So, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, there's a pack of carrots right there, you guys. Look at that. Breath Edge Soya's Carrots. Hey, a carrot a day keeps the dentist away. Small carrots with a filter. <laughs> carrots with a filter. What is this? <laughs> Usually they are kept in the mouth. Sometimes they are chewed on. The soft core is pressed directly into the mouth or in the lungs, as like would have it. Quite a strange pastime, for sure. Yeah, I agree. Who smokes carrots, right? Uh, Advertiser-friendly people, that's who. There you go. Piece of truth number 23, I guess is what they call a newspaper. A drill blueprint. Ooh, is that what the uh, grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints? With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself. If it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. Ooh, okay. We'll uh, turn that over. What's on the other side? Uh, nothing. Okay, I guess I'll take it. Hey, we can make the drill. I doubt we could use that thing. Let's see. I don't think there's anything. Oh, whoa, there's a fabric right there. I guess I'll take it. Roll of fabric. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually able to do anything over here with the uh, the drill, but I guess I could try, right? Uh, yeah, we need thick electrical tape and battery and refined metal. So, yeah, it seems a little bit advanced for us. We still need to make the cryptographic debugging station out of two metal and a wire, which who knows where we're going to find that most likely out in space. So let's go out into space. See if we can find any wires or anything like that out here. We could actually grab and metal scraps and whatever else. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. I found some metal right there randomly, so I guess it's like orange stuff is metal. And I need wire too, so I'd- Oh man, dead bodies! Whoops! Oh, what was that? Nutrition pay. Hey, I'll tell you, not like this guy's gonna use it, right? Grab the dead body. Oh, I can go- I can make him dance! Look at him, he's doing the Fortnite dance! Ooh, he hit the wall over there. That was terrible. I need to stop playing with these dead bodies like they're making dolls or something. Another carrot top. Who just wastes carrot tops like that? Take that. Bottle of water. Don't mind if I do. There's a lot of stuff out here. New another nutrient prep package. What is this? More metal? Yep. What is this thing? Plastic? How do I do this? Oh, I need the handy scrapper thing. Uh oh. Oh man, we're getting out of it. We're running out of oxygen. We need to go. Or at least we found some of the metal scraps. Probably find some wire out there as well if I spent a little bit more time. Let's see. I think we only need like two of the metal, right? Like actual metal scrap, not like uh, we have to refine or anything. Like that. Yeah, just metal. So boom, there you go. We have enough. Now we need to find wire, which just the name of it is probably going to be decently hard to find, right? So we need to uh, eat and food or eat and drink. So uh, and okay, they're both full now. Noise. All right. We can find some wire out here. What's that? Is that a wire just out in front of me like that? No, grand Grandpa's mug! Grab it! Don't want to lose that! Oh, I got it right there! Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride on his rocket, so this is why his colleagues gave him this mug, and the title of Chief Womanizer, unfairly, because Grandpa only gave them rides, and only on his rocket, but he still kept the mug and always laughed at it. Yeah, well, uh, this could be interpreted various different ways, but, uh, this is a family show, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, of course, uh, taking uh, women on uh, space rocket ships. That's what they're talking about right there. Yep. yep. There you go. See if we can find any more wires or any, any wires in general, I guess you could say, right? Because I need them. Right, just one. If I could find any, that'd be great. I'm finding a lot more of this metal, though. I don't know how we're doing, like, carry weight wise. Like, if we're going to hit some sort of limit, we might want to watch out here sometime soon. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that, if we want to run out of squares there, we probably can't. Uh, that's probably like the carry weight sort of meme. Like, it's not actual weight, it's like inventory space, kind of like Subnautica once again. <laughs> I'm making so many uh, comparisons there. Extract aluminum from this asteroid right here? Yeah, I knew. Oh, that's what the drill is for. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, can't do that with my heckin' hands. Oh, here's some, uh... Oh, look at this! Oh, there we go, we got the wiring! Plastic? Oh, I can't do that. Man. At least we found some of the wiring over here. Okay, well, we got everything here. We got everything. Let's go back before we die. We're almost at the breath edge, if you will. Almost out of breath. Let's go, later. Go! We're at five, four, three. It's not New Year's Eve. We're about to die! Ah, we're dying already! I just ate, drank, and everything like that. Why am I not healing up? Whew. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. Let's make this thing now. Uh, hey, the cryptographic debugging station, the most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with cryptographic encryption over internal software networks, aka uh, OBS. Yeah, I guess that's what this is. <laughs> you know, just streaming like gameplay onto like YouTube or whatever. I guess they had to make it like super. They had like a word limit and they had to describe, okay, streaming on the Internet. How, how can we make that 50 words long? That's how they did it right there. All right, well, there you go, we made it. And I guess we progressed a little bit more with the storyline. Boom! Oh, there you go. So, uh, now what do we do? The most sophisticated blah, 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 blah. Where do I put this thing? Up here? Yeah, it's still broken. Pick up the debugging station. I have it, don't I? It's in my inventory. There it is right there. Oh, probably have to put it in the uh, hot bar. Yep. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Hey, okay, well, uh, let's try and fix it. So, uh, let's debug it by... Oh, yeah, just whack it a few times. Hey, it worked! What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Call for help on the interphone. Attention, survivors. The rescue shuttle Hope was sent for you... Wait, is this a reference to Subnautica? It wasn't the ship... The rescuer's arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. <laughs> you need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. But, <laughs> this is like breaking fourth wall and all that kind of memes. Literally at the top right, create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in your hands. I hope it's not literally, because, uh... Like, the toilet's not working, so I, you know, I'm like, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to do that, right? Grandpa's picture, A! Hey! Take that too. Chickle, what, what? Chick you, chick you belch? <laughs> Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Hey, uh, advertiser friendly there. <laughs> Something chose my grandpa solely because of this label. Although he's always denied it and wrinkled his face when choking on this crap. Jeez. Well, I'm like, he's got a chicken with like breathing fire there, so I doubt it's going to be too delicious there, right? But I'll take it. Hey. All right, well, we got like some sort of, wait, what happened to the thing? What happened to the, uh, the thing to fix the... Where, where'd it go? It's gone, I think. Equipment? Oh, there's an oxygen tank right there. We could probably upgrade that over time. That'd be good. Man, I thought I could fix more stuff with that little, little, little rod thing that I crafted, but I guess I can't. Can I do anything with this dead hamster? I can't? What? Oh, here we go. Hey! Do something with this dead hamster. Oh, install the dead hamster. What? Yeah, here we go. Install it into there. Not enough space to install into... Oh! Incredible! Survived one. I see your avatar online. Oh my gosh. There are hot singles nearby, you guys. We, we, we found one. I'm probably going to have to blur that over there. That it wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. Oh, install this. Here we go. No, man! I just want to install- There we go. Put it on the table. Oh, ew! It's actually there. Ew. Okay, keep it there, I guess. Ugh. Okay. Great the crab imposed by the developers and put it in your hand. Okay. So how would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Examine the dog beer. Uh, take that. There you go. Physics and 50 volumes. Didn't I take that earlier? There's another one. I guess we have two out of the 50 there. I bet that's some sort of collectible. Oh my gosh, I'm actually going to sleep. Hey! Uh, after a long day of uh, picking up dead bodies of hamsters and almost dying, you need to get a little bit of shut-eye here. And let's wake up! 
Okay, we're up. Okay. <laughs> now, what else am I doing right here? I can't. I can't really decipher what create the crap imposed by the developers is supposed to mean. It's just a little bit too nuanced for me. So, uh, <laughs> what does it want me to make? I don't know. Let's go up here. Let's go look at the uh, the fabricator or whatever this thing is. Let's see what it. Uh, yeah, it, they're already like referencing like some Nautica stuff. It looks like refined metal. I guess that's one of them. I'm like I'm able to make it. So, uh, yep. Let's make one of them. I suppose. Hey, I got that. Uh, com composite resources, objects, stations. Oh, there it is. Literally called crap. Oh, oh my gosh! I keep getting texts from uh, some random woman. Uh, hot singles in my area here. My name is Babe. I'm very beautiful. You save me. I beg. I completely alone. Your interlocutor has very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. Okay. Well, we need two refined metal and one wire and one thick electrical tape. So, uh, I guess we can get one more refined metal if I can. Which means we need four metal here. We have uh, two. Okay, let's go grab some more metal. We need a wire as well. And like thick electrical tape. Oh, jeez. Thick electrical tape. So I guess we could find some thick electrical tape over here, probably. Where we found the wires, wherever that was. I don't know where that Where was that? Oh. Oh, that's like food or something like that. I don't need food. Oh, hey, hey. Is this a wire? It is. Hey, I'll take that wire in. That's mine now. Oh, yeah, it was over here, wasn't it? Oh, man, I need to make that oxygen tank, though. Because we're running out of oxygen like super duper fast. Let's see. I'm not seeing any orange, like tiny little. Oh, wait, yeah. When we get closer, though, I'm starting to see those orange balls over here. Sweet pack. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Whoops. Seems they were playing some brain cracking game. Oh, pff. a big TV. A big TV fell on their heads and exploded their heads, and now there's ketchup everywhere. <laughs> Jeez. I need some wiring right there. There you go. There's some honey over here. I don't know what that is right there, but I'm, I'm starting to run out of oxygen again, so I need to watch out. Was that metal? I think that was. Cool. We got metal. And some more honey. Uh-oh. Oh, we got the metal. We got the metal. We need, we, we just need the uh, electrical tape now. Where's that going to be? I don't know. But ah, there's just some more wiring. Go, 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 go. 11, 10. Oh, jeez. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't know if I'm able to sprint in space or whatever. <laughs> I need to get like a jetpack or something like that so I can move a little bit faster. I don't know if I'm able to make that anytime soon. Oh, there's more metal right there. Now, where in the world am I going to find the electrical tape? Ah, get inside. Jeez. Whew. All right. Oh. Can I eat the carrot top thing over here? It's covered in saliva, but it looks appetite. I guess we can. Stop texting me. There's spammers texting me. One, two, there you go. Don't drink the pee. Uh, what are we working at Amazon? We're peeing in bottles now. I think we're doing well right now. We don't have to, <laughs> we don't have to drink the pee. <laughs> we have plenty of water. <laughs> don't need to do that just yet. Jeez. Let's see if we can find any of the uh, electrical tape or anything like that over here, though. I don't know where we could find it, though, but uh, oh, my gosh, what is that? Uh, that is a lot of ketchup, I think, down there, you guys. I'm going to stay away from that because that's kind of spooky. <laughs> Jeez. What about over here, though? Oh, is that? Ooh. Is this electrical tape? What is this? A lot of various goods were transported in the cargo holds of the liner unnamed. The Global Funeral Agency rented only a small part of the ship's space in the framework of the advertising company and has nothing to do with these goods. Wait, what are these then? Like, fake humans? Mannequins? Why do they have mannequins here? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be there. Oh man, actual bodies over here. Oh, is this a mannequin too? Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to shake it around and check it out. Oh, jeez, it's crashing into everything. Oh no, we're gonna run out of oxygen again. Oxygen is not unlimited, I know! Oh, what is that down there? Oh, that's probably where we could find some more, uh, some, some electrical tape or something like that. Uh, grab some of that stuff just because why not? Let's go, Hada! What is that down there? See, I'm like, it does, it's got like a special icon. It looks like a bunch of balloons or something there. Oh, jeez, we're about, oh no, we're taking damage again. Can we heal up if we eat and drink? <sighs> no, we're still dying! Ah, I thought it'd heal me up the full, but no! Go! Holy heck. Oh, hold on. Do you make the electrical tape? I doubt you can just find it. Let's try it. As we're dying. <laughs> Tools, drill. Oh, there's the handy scrapper. So I can finally make this thing out of three metal. Uh, I guess I'll get that. Yep, there you go. Cool. And now we have less metal, so that kind of sucks. But whatever. Uh, we need to... There you go. Refined metal. I think we just need two more. And we should be able to make this, right? Yep. Oh, I don't even think it make the uh, handy scrapper, whatever it's called, right? I think it did. Yeah, I didn't finish it. Man, I need one more metal and then I'm able to make it. Then I guess I could break things, I guess. Uh, all right, let's go grab like there's like one like right out here. I know. Pretty sure I saw an orange over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I think. Yep, there you go. We got it. Okay, let's go grab the handy scrapper or whatever that was. 
And I don't know if we're going to be able to make this crap that the developer literally, that's what it's called. I don't know if we're able to make it here, you guys. Oh, they're still texting me, the spammers. I need to change my number or something here. Jeez. Where am I going here? I just want to, there you go, handy scrapper. There you go. Whew. It was meant to be the most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing. Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, I guess they renamed it there. Okay, interesting. Well, there's the handy scrapper. So uh, put that on number one. Yep, there you go. And durability 50 bound to slot number one. Okay. Well, I guess we can break stuff with this thing now. That's what that's what we used to fix the other uh, thing just a minute ago. So hopefully we're able to break stuff with this. Like this thing. Am I able to break? Oh. Oh, I am. Oh, break it. We're going to get a lot of metal out of it or what? What are we doing here? Oh, I guess we did. It's just giving me like one metal there. Hold on. Uh, I guess that was just the durability of it. It's not going to give me like 60 metal or whatever it said right there, right? Yeah, metal plate went out. Yeah, 88, 72. Okay, so you have to break it multiple times, and then you get like one or two pieces of metal. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll grab them, because I do need to refine the metal there, so there you go. What in the world happened over here? That is so strange looking. What in the heck? This thing only has so much dirt. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going to find this electrical tape. Maybe down there, perhaps, but we're almost out of oxygen again. At least we're making a little bit of- Oh! Oh, what is this? Oh, it's metal again. I guess the sun wasn't shining on it. You can't really see it too well there. Okay, well, I'm going to head down there next. Just because I'm very curious about what that is. Maybe it's going to finally have the electrical tape. Yep. Get our oxygen back. Whew. I guess while we're in here waiting for our oxygen to replenish, we can go over here and, uh... Like the refined metal, and I think we have enough now. I think we need like three refined metal to make the literal crap that the developers wanted us to make. Where's that at? There's right there. Oh, it's only two. Okay. We just need a thick electrical tape now. I don't even know if we uh, roll fabric yellowish water. Yeah, we don't have I guess you can't craft it. I guess you have to actually find it. Either that or we have to find a blueprint for it first. But either way, let's go. Now we have full 75 oxygen. Let's go down here and see what we can find down here. Because I'm very curious about this. Watch, I bet we could just find this literal crap that the developers want us to make. We just find it down here or something like that. Who knows? Let's see. Oh, man, look at my shadow right there. RTX on. Yeah, how do we get into here? The largest oh. condom in the world, and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. The service supply compartment, almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be in luck if you managed to get inside. A damaged door scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner's scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. Uh, well, this thing's going around durability before we could open it, I think. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, we need to make the scanner for the scanner to get scanned and then open or whatever meme they're doing right there. Uh-oh, this is bad. This is pretty bad. I'm going to run out of oxygen pretty soon. I don't, I don't, I'm not finding anything out here worthwhile. This is for some ice, which is uh, okay. I'm like, pfft, who uses ice anyways? Oh, and there's the, the world's largest uh, balloon that they were talking about. Hey! There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. Yeah, that's what that is, a balloon. <laughs> I'm getting demonetized and remonetized and everything. This episode is crazy. Let's go back before we die, though, because we're almost out of oxygen again, and we're half health. Oh, jeez, half health and falling right now. Oh, gosh. Wait, where are we going? Oh, my God, I have to go up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my gosh, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. We're going to die! Oh my gosh! I didn't know I had to go up. I forgot. Mind your health. I know! Oh my gosh, this is so close! Come Ooh. on! No, you are dead. Oh, come on. Man, I was so. Look at how close I was. Eli, again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. <laughs> okay, uh, load autosave. Uh, back to me. Okay, load the autosave. Where, when is this going to take us back to? Man, hey, they're still smoking the, <laughs> the carrots. <laughs> oh, where are we at right now? What is this? Uh, well, we don't have the tool or anything there. Uh, uh, how, how are we doing to uh, make it the refined metal or whatever? Handy scrapper. Haven't even made that yet. Uh, refined metal. I think, okay, we only have one. Okay, set us back a little bit right there. So that kind of sucks, but either way, uh, <laughs> We made a little bit of progress this episode. You guys kind of got a little bit of a taste of what this game is all about. I guess we could end it off right here. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of Breath Edge? Should I make it a series here on the channel? Should I play it more? Uh, I, honestly, I like it. it. It's very reminiscent of Subnautica. Has some very like fourth wall breaking moments. Like they're talking about the developers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, ice ball. Okay, that's like an ice version of the giant metal scrap we saw earlier. 
Uh, seems pretty interesting. And of course, with Subnautica being a very fun game, and this is kind of being very, uh, like, paying a lot of homage to Subnautica. Very much looking forward to playing more of this. And Ama oh, from the advertisement of the Global Funeral Agency. She looks good even without her head, but I wouldn't recommend touching the picture, as it could be regarded as sexual harassment. Yeah, you don't want to go to jail, get demonetized, or get cancel cultured. So yeah, uh, stay away from, the, from that big old billboard, and you'll be good to go, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. I guess I'll end off the video right here, and then, I don't know, maybe next episode, if there is going to be a next episode, I guess we'll continue doing some stuff over- Oh wait, what in the world? Oh, that, that's where we get the electrical tape, but I guess not. Or maybe you can, but you need some sort of a certain machine to get that out, I don't know. Oh jeez, now we're going to run oxygen again. I guess I go over here and actually do the outro. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and of course, let me know in the comments down below, should I make this into a full-on series? Or should I uh, play something else and see if there's another game out there that might be a little bit better fit for the channel? Anything and everything you guys are thinking, let me know in the comments down below because I definitely want to do more of this like pilot episode sort of stuff to kind of test out new games, see what they're like, get some input from you guys, and of course see how I like it and see if it's going to be a good fit for the channel. So definitely want to do a little bit more of this stuff and I'd love to see what you guys have to say about Breath Edge. So either way, I guess I'll end off the video right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell. Because who knows, if you guys really do like Breath Edge and I end up turning it into a series, if you guys ring that bell, YouTube will send you a notification as soon as the second episode of Breath Edge comes out. So you don't miss what happens next in this weird, wacky survival space crafting sort of game, <laughs> which is very, very interesting. So be sure to ring that bell so you don't miss out what happens next. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, bye there. Oh.